Okay, so basically what we're doing is looking at placing a texture within the space of that shape. So we'd create a brand new layer, is one example, and then right click on that layer and create a clipping mask. And basically what that does is it borrows the transparency from the layer below and allows us to then paint within that space with a brush or add a texture into it. Okay, so we can see got a brush now and we're able to kind of paint into that space okay so the other uh, way that we can do that I kind of um, and, and this is the other way that I was suggesting that people might want to use paintbrushes so if you want to use a paintbrush but you don't want to actually then paint out your shape then you might put texture into a building in this way or into parts of that building um, the other thing we could do here as well we can add a layer mask onto a layer that has is using a clipping mask on the layer below. So it's kind of doubling up the, the masking of objects. So if I add a layer mask on here, okay, and then for instance use the gradient tool, just a straight black to white gradient tool, then I could fade that out so it kind of grows up the building. Okay. So all I've done there is use the black and white gradient on the right hand side there and it's kind of faded it in okay so if we took now um, keep going with this if we took those two layers okay and right clicked on them and made them into a group from those layers okay then we've got a group we could copy that group okay so it's the collection of those two layers we could move that and then suddenly we start to get this nice kind of stacking up of those different shapes okay and then um, we can add a we can add a hue saturation and adjustment layer just to one group so if we took say the the middle group here okay which is um, in the middle of these three and add a hue saturation adjustment layer to it then we can change the the color of that and then if we add a clipping mask to it it's just going to apply it to that one layer below okay so now this layer is green where the others are orange okay so you can kind of play and merge things in that way okay these are the kind of tricks you should use if you're a little behind with your assignment and you need to kind of throw some stuff in there to add some texture, add a bit of detail and depth into it. Um, or if you're wanting to push it at that last minute and kind of, you know, get some something different going on. The nice thing about these as well is we can go into the layer mask here on that kind of texture I added, grab the brush tool and I'll just grab a regular brush tool and we could kind of paint out parts of the texture in parts of those layers. Okay, so being careful to draw on the the mask, not the object itself. Otherwise, we'll just end up with like uh, a flat green there. Okay, so we can keep modifying those layer masks. Okay, so the other way of uh, getting a, a texture into those um, shapes as well would be to actually use a texture. So if I grab one of these groups now and I'll just duplicate it okay so I'm just working on so this is why you should always name your groups I'm working quickly now because it's getting really confusing for me already um, so I'm gonna keep the tower here but I'm gonna delete this other texture that I've added so let's move this over here I think we've got lots of space Okay, so if we wanted to add like a specifically just a texture that we had into that building, then we can go to File, Place Embedded. We can grab a texture. So, here. so this red uh, kind of rusty texture. Place that. Okay, let's rotate it. Okay, and then if we right click on that, texture which is an image we can use the clipping mask and it will make that building 
that texture, that color. Okay. Um, and we can work with the opacity. So if we wanted to have some of the texture but not lose the whole building, then we can get the color of that other photo on top of the, the building. Okay, so you can get some nice things going on there. Okay, and then we can just kind of multiply those effects one at a time until your computer crashes. Okay. I'm going to stop that there.